you a lot. I, I can't. I just can't help it. I did. You know, I do an ocean sunrise catechism every morning. The I see sun, it. I watch uh, it on Facebook. I see it. And uh, today I was talking about your rosary again. You know how it. And last night at the Bears Man Cave meetup, there was a new guy there, Pete, Peter, and I said, "Dude, you got to get Tom Sullivan's war. If you if you're coming back to the Lord, you need to get into the. You need to." pray the rosary. You need to be a warrior and you got to get Tom's warrior rosary. And then someone else wrote to me today to say, to just, to talk about that. So that's one of the things we're going to touch on sure. is uh, this, this, this rosary that you gave me when I was on the set there with women of grace with Jeanette Benkovic and yeah. dude, it's the most powerful. It, it, it impacted my uh, intercessory prayer life. Welcome to the bear Wozniak adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. My own masculine prayer life as a man. Um, you know, I, my background was in the military. I was in the military for 12 years. Um, I spent uh, five of those years as a company commander training recruits and preparing them, you know, to go out into the into the military life. And uh, when I came back into the faith, that transferred over and it, that that whole military understanding uh, transferred over to my spiritual life and to spiritual warfare. I had learned that through prayer and when we when we're in prayer, uh, the catechism teaches us that uh, prayer is a battle. And it uses the term battle over 25 times in the catechism, um, which kind of piqued my interest. And uh, so I, as I began over the years to understand this concept of battle in prayer, and every time we go into prayer, that we enter into a battle, and that the Christian life on earth is a warfare, as the church teaches us, um, I, I started seeing this this reality. And, and, and as I would go into prayer with my rosary, uh, I would see myself and envision myself on the battlefield as a knight, sl- you know, swinging a sword and a shield and and battling the dragon of sin, you know. And then I would open my eyes and look at my rosary that I was praying, and it was nice. It was, you know, a kind of feminine, you know, a piece of jewelry. And I'd fall off the battlefield, you know, uh, in my mind, if you would. And I was looking at it, and I'd look at the crucifix, and I would think, you know, I, I want to hold a sword. I want to. I want to see, and you know, bears. You know as well as I do. We're men. We're visual characters. You know, we don't. We have a hard time envisioning things. And unlike you know our, our wives and, and 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 women in general, women are very good at internalizing and being receptive and and being you know close and in tune with God intuitively. We're not. We're conquerors. You know, we're we're warriors. We're out there to, to to conquer the world and battle with us and to intercede for us on each decade. Um, we have a young martyr, Jose Luis Sanchez del Rio, and his story was made famous by the uh, the movie For Greater Glory. Uh, he was 14 years old. If you remember, Catholicism was outlawed in Mexico. Um, they were exporting and killing uh, priests. Uh, they were exporting the bishops and the nuns. Uh, Catholics, they, they closed the church. They, they, it, it was a terrible persecution. And it was known as the, 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 uh, the Mexican Revolution, or, or in these particular men were the, the Cristeros, they were called, men and women. And Jose wanted to, to fight, and so he went off into, in, and joined up, uh, and he carried the, the, um, uh, the flag. He was the flag bearer. He carried the standard, basically. Um, and Jose got captured. He was tortured. His feet were, were sliced and made to, to walk, uh, you know, on, on salt, on cement. He was imprisoned in, a, in a, his own parish church is where they kept him. Um, and there's a there's a the, the whole story of Jose is, is in our book. The Rose we're going to we're going to we're going we're gonna to have to. I want to get back and talk more about sure. about this yeah. young man. I really I really love him. We're talking with Tom yeah, Sullivan. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Plus, good stuff happens when you support us at patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure. You get instant access 
to every radio show, Bear Watson Adventure, and our TV episodes, Long Ride Home, the instant we produce them, months before they even air. Plus, we give you all kinds of free stuff, coffee cups, t-shirts, and other things like that. Go to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak Deep Adventure and become our patron. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that bell.